Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Paulio Jr. And in today's video, um, I wanted to go over uh, an Android app called WPS, WPA Tester. And this application, um, just so uh, I'm upfront about this, uh, should only be used for uh, educational purposes uh, to test um, your um, your network security for your wireless router um, and only if you have uh, forgotten or lost or cannot retrieve your um, your uh, wireless pin number to your router so that you can access the internet again. Other routers do come up but only use um, the router, only use your router. Um, so I have only used mine to test out um, you know, to see if there was any, um, any network holes or, um, you know, to see how, if people could connect to it and so forth. So, um, I've actually upped the security a little bit on my wireless router. So we're going to get right into it. Just wanted to, um, have that as a disclaimer. So, um, and this, uh, application works if your phone is rooted or not rooted. Now I did take screenshots uh, beforehand because um, I did not want to, um, I didn't want to take the time out to blur uh, all these MAC addresses and um, uh, SSIDs. So um, I just renamed the router to Asus. So um, so basically when you, when you do initially open up the app, um, it's going to give you the disclaimer that you should own just like it is right now. Um, that you are only going to use it for educational purposes, that you're authorized to do this, um, don't misuse it, um, be as ethical as possible, or just be ethical doing this. So, um, so initially when you open it up, af after the disclaimers, uh, there's a list of all the wireless routers and the range and uh, how, you know, how close they are and so forth, um, how they are, if they are password protected or if they are not password protected. So um, I've clicked on mine, which um, is uh, password protected. And uh, so when I click on the name uh, Asus, this is what comes up. Are you authorized to test? Uh, yes. And now uh, my phone is not rooted at the moment. So, um, and all rooted means is that you have uh, more accessibility to, um, you know, all the, the full functionality of the phone itself. So, but the, whatever defaults come up, um, you know, are perfectly fine. If you don't want to root your phone, that, that's totally, you know, that, that's absolutely fine. It will work. Um, the only thing is it works better when it is not rooted. I mean, when it is rooted, excuse me. So, um, when, once you click on the SSID, it'll say choose connection type. And now this one says probably compatible. So, um, and you would go through the list of options here, uh, connect auto, uh, connect automatic pin, uh, experimental, uh, uh, Belkin and uh, Arcadian algorithm, brute force, custom pin, manual pin selection. So the first one, obviously, you would want to use if you're not too familiar with this. Um, and obviously, if you're not, this isn't anything complicated. You would go to uh, Connect Automatic Pin. And it does have a couple advertisements. It is free. And what it will do is it will go through a list of, uh, I guess, generic pins and so forth. Uh, or maybe auto-generated pins uh, to see... Um, you know, it's trying to, obviously it's trying to connect to the router and get the uh, correct pin uh, so that you can connect to your wireless router. So this one takes uh, a little bit of time. I would say maybe, um, maybe five minutes, if that. Um, I'm on the third floor here, so it's, uh, you know, it might take a little bit, but basically it'll go from zero to hundred percent going one through 20 tries. And then um, if it does successfully um, complete and that is not guaranteed that it will, um, it'll reveal the, um, the pin uh, so that you can connect in the future. 
and then you can have access to your router again. So I'm going to close this one out. If your phone is rooted, you can use the, uh, the Belkin and Arcadian algorithm, uh, but the best one is the brute force. Um, and I believe um, there was something called like a, a backdoor handshake or something like that is what they, is really what it's called. Um, and this thing just um, basically just just continuously it just continually goes um, like to the end of time like for <laughs> um, guessing you know just going throughout just just going through different pin numbers and different sequences and so forth and it takes a long time but it is the one that will eventually um, almost guaranteed um, to get the pin, reveal the pin so that you can connect to your wireless router. Not your neighbors, <laughs> not, some, not some business, your router. That's what we're using this for. Now in doing this, um, the pin is basically um, your interval of seconds in which it wants to try a new pin. I would typically do at least 30 um, because if you do it at zero, then it's just then the app is just um, continuously going over and over and over. It's going, it's trying something, it's trying a pin, and then it's trying another pin, and it's trying another pin, and it's trying another pin, testing out different um, pins to connect to. So you can see the zero over however many freaking slash over one, however many zeros there are there. Um, <laughs> that's how many pins it will go through that it'll, it will attempt to go through um, in order to connect to the router. This would be something, um, if you were really desperate, um, that you would set um, before you went to bed or when you stopped using your phone, go to sleep uh, and let it run through. Uh, don't expect um, to use your phone anytime soon while this is running. Um, and I would keep the screen on just to be safe this test does take a long, long time, but it is extremely effective. So um, I would definitely um, rec recommend this option as a last resort. So if you are so inclined, I would root the phone. Um, so because when the phone is rooted for whatever reason, when you do the connect automatic pin, uh, this actually um, works a lot better um, and the Belkin and the Arcadian algorithm work really well uh, you can do a custom pin um, or the manual pin selection so like I said um, you know just be just be smart about this don't don't do anything stupid with it um, it is uh, a completely safe uh, and secure app to download from the uh, Google Play Store um, and it actually works really well. Has a lot of um, pretty, pretty good reviews. I read a lot about it um, online before I actually tested it out myself. So um, if you are looking to retrieve your pin from your router uh, to gain access to your router and get online again, uh, this is an excellent uh, app uh, to um, make that possible. So um, I'll put the other the initial screenshots so I can blur out some stuff and then, um, you know, ch uh, check it out if you want to, but, um, that's really all I have for today. Um, I hope this video helped you and, um, good luck, um, with your router. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.